Real fast before this video starts guys, if you want to know how to get Adobe Premiere for free on either Windows or Mac, if you subscribe, like, and you comment your Twitter handle below, I'll go and I'll follow you on Twitter and I'll DM you how I got it for free. So if you guys want to do that, be my guest and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's going on guys, in this video I want to show you guys how to um, color correct your videos, make them look a lot better. So especially in uh, on a map like Overgrown, uh, the colors are really dull and really boring looking so even if you have a bad capture card like I have a pretty standard capture card I think I have the um, Elgato HD PVR before like the uh, the 60p one so it's my videos aren't even in 1080p they're just in 720 um, but if you see right here this is I'm gonna show you guys what the quality looks like before any coding I'll give it to you full screen so you can see as you can see it's really gray nothing's really popping out so if I go here and I copy the attributes that I already just did so you click copy paste attributes click blue metric color you can literally put that on every single one of your clips so all you really have to do is just edit one clip and then you can paste them on on all of it if your clips are similar if you want you can tweak each and every uh, clip but now I'm gonna show you guys um, how to do the color correction that I just did so Here's what it looks like whenever I added the color correction. It's going to be really laggy right now because I haven't rendered it, rendered it yet. But if you go on Adobe Premiere and you go from editing, you click color. Um, you're going to see these five tabs here. Um, click on basic correction first. And the only things I really did here was I dropped the tint a tiny bit. I dropped the temperature um, 7.9 to make a little bit um, more blue just because this is more of like... A blue um, map in terms of like warmth um, I put the saturation up by almost 30 just to make all just to make like all these uh, green colors and stuff like that kind of pop out more and look better and then creative um, look none you can put any of these on if you really want I'm not really a big fan of them though just because they kind of are too intense even with the intensity down uh, it just doesn't really suit like this video that I'm making so I'm gonna take that off and then faded film, sharpened vibrance, you can do any of this if you really want. Um, it doesn't really make a difference. Saturation is basically what you just did. It's basically just tweaking the clip until you get the uh, desired look that you want. Tint balance, I put that up a tiny bit. And then curves, this is actually a, um, a big one. This helps a lot in my opinion. If you click on the first one, um, and if you know anything about Photoshop, you do the same thing in this to make your pictures look better. What you want to do is this is going to be a straight line. Click this and drag it up and then click this and drag it down a little bit. Make like an S shape and then it's going to look a lot better. So basically you're raising your lights up a little bit and then you're dropping your darks down. And then it's kind of just hitting that like perfect like medium and it's going to look a lot better. The uh, lights are going to be lighter, the darks are going to be darker and that looks a lot better just to the eye. And then I also took the, um, the saturation curve and I put that a little bit towards the blue just to kind of match everything up. So as you can see, it looks 10 times better than what it normally would look like. And then, let's see, I'll take off curves, color wheels, this doesn't really matter. You can tweak the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights if you want. And then this, you can add anything around the edges just to kind of like focus um, the center of your image, but I don't really need that either, so I'm going to take those off. And then that's basically it. It um, improves your video a lot. You can tweak it for every single clip if you just go towards color and you have it highlighted. So as you can see, these are the settings. If I have this, cl this clip highlighted, if I have this clip highlighted, it's going to show the settings for that. So click it, copy, click this clip. Here's a before. Go back a few frames. And here's after. Paste attributes. Make sure it's just this. If you have any other effects, make sure they're unchecked or they'll copy over. And then it just looks 100 times better. Going to do the same thing. This one. Paste attributes. Like that. This one actually might have, I've already put attributes on because that looks a little too vibrant. Hmm. No, I haven't. Alright, so I'll add, I'll redo that.
And if you want to fix this lag, what you do is you go up here to sequence and you click render effects in and out. I'm not going to do it right now because it's going to take like a few minutes probably for me to uh, render it. But if it's a shorter video, it takes faster or it goes by faster. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through all my clips and I'm going to paste the attributes. And then at the very end, I'm going to render it all. And then this video will be ready to go. If you guys want to watch the video that I'm editing right now, I'll put a link to it on the screen or in the description so you guys can go watch that. It's actually a pretty cool video of uh, some tournament gameplay in MWR. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you guys with your future videos and editing. Um, if you guys uh, have a different editing software, you'll probably need to look up another tutorial, but if you just use the tips that I gave you through this with the um, curves and I'm not sure if they have the paste attributes for Final Cut Pro or other softwares, but um, use those tips and it'll make your video quality a lot better even if you have a bad capture card hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys later